everyone, Amanda here from ScreenPinMommy.co.uk and I'm just on today sharing one of my non-stamping up projects. Um, I'm really, really enjoying creating junk journals in my spare time, so I thought I'd come and share um, the, the late, my latest completed one. Um, and it is an envelope uh, journal, basically made out of envelopes, following a tutorial by the lovely Carol Tin Tinson, um, who is so Carol on YouTube, I will leave a link in the description box below to her videos. There's quite a few, I think she did about eight in total, complete uh, start to finish. Um, every single digital image in this album has come from Artie Mays, every single one. And everything else is bits and bobs that I've put together. So I did share this um, card that I created and said I would put it on the front of a journal. So I have. I've added some music paper. I've added a flower. We've got some lovely corners. And the covers I have made from chip, covered chipboard. And then we've got the word memories. So when you open, this is the first two pages. Um, as I say, all of the digital papers and everything that I've used has come from Artemis. Um, so here we've got a belly band with lace and an applique. And we've got three different size tags. Um, you can journal on the back of those. And we've got a This Belongs to Plate. In each page, because each page is an envelope, so in each page is an insert um, that I've created using the um, basically the cards that came with the envelopes when I bought them. Um, so this opens like a, a flip file um, with a belly band that I've made just out of cardstock with pun decorative edging and stamping. Recipe cards and some just vintage um, accounting paper given to me from my lovely friend Karen. Um, so there we go, that goes on. Oh, and, and on the front here, sorry, <laughs> we've got some stamping. I've coloured it in with watercolour pencils. I've used some jelly roll on her bow there. We've got the word believe, and these little flowers came from Jill Price. She used to have a shop on Facebook where she sold uh, paper crafting items and I once bought a job lot of handmade paper flowers off of her. I've got loads of them. Um, gessoed book pages and I think we've got vellum behind there as well. Uh, all of the book pages that I've used all come from uh, It's a Jane Eyre. You can pick them up cheaply. I think I, I got mine for about 50p in a charity shop. Uh, and then the next one, we've got the lovely paper, we've got a corner flip. Um, I've stamped it, I've put a die cut dial on it, a little banner, another flower and the word dream. We've got two pieces of ephemera here, this is actually my bill <laughs> from Carol for the bits and bobs that I bought from her pop-up shop last week. But she writes it on these vintage style um, tickets, so I've put those in. And then in this one we've got a floral one. Um, we've got some cheesecloth behind there and some more stamping and layering with music pages and book pages and inking. I think it's this one a little bit too much but I'm still learning. And we've got the word imagination and that one has the belly band to the side. Okay, so that goes in there. And then the next page here. And we've got this glassine bag which I've reused about three times. It came from my friend Kay. And in there we've got the vintage buttons that I created for my guest design team for Artie Mays. And I've got just a little flower from a package that I've received somewhere and I've stuck a ticket under it. It was meant to just be like a tuck spot but it's actually glued itself <laughs> so it's staying now. Now I've turned the bag into a flip like that. And so under there we've got some pieces of ephemera and a little ticket. And so the flip's made just with just, I've just die cut a large doiler. Um, so this is just um, good quality copy of paper. We've got half a circle there with a little bit of lace and that just supports those. And then in here we've got another um, a booklet. Again, and we've got some stamping. I've hand coloured those with watercolour pencils. Added some jelly roll, gesso, flower, and we've got the word dream. It's layered on uh, music paper and vellum. Scraps of vellum. 
I think we've got some cheesecloth behind that flower as well. This page is my favourite page because I like lace, I love it. Um, but I didn't want loads of lace, not in this journal, it's not big enough. So we've got uh, this lovely lady here and the camera won't pick it up but I have uh, inner flowers and the folds of a dress. It's got all wink Stella so it's got a subtle glitter to it and um, we've added some of Joanne's flowers and then I've turned this page into a waterfall page and the bottom of each sheet has got some lace and these are for journaling or you know you could stick I mean that says notes so you can write on there you can write on the back because I've left it plain and you can write under there or you could tuck something under and then in here we've got another another one it's just replicated but it says imagine um, I think that one's got some eyelash trim behind the flower on that one and then here we've got another pocket with another one with another dragonfly I've done one there as well again I've used watercolour pencils I've done a bit of more stamping on this one and I've used the jelly roll to accentuate the flowers and her headband this one says inspire I really like that um, and then on these uh, flowers here I just wanted this paper as it was because it's so pretty uh, you know sometimes it's a shame to just cover it all up with more and um, so I've just accentuated all the lines and and petals with a glitter jelly roll so they stand out a bit and then on this final page here that's been left that for journaling we've got a bit of stamping and I've created a pocket with just um, some leftover paper fancy border punch and a bit of lace and um, three tags in different sizes for journaling on and then in the back there we've got the final Booklet cheesecloth gesso in stamping and it says inspiration um, and then that's the back page but the beauty of these envelope flips is that that's not the end because when you get to the back you turn it the other way it's like a never ending journal <laughs> so you're getting like double double for your money uh, when you make these so in here and um, this these are on the back are all long pockets going top to bottom I've just used a small piece of ephemera there to create a tuck spot I've got some um, postcards and some buttons these are actually Jane Eyre so they're not really the same sort of era as there I don't think but you know it doesn't matter and these are free um, a lot of the ladies that do digital images they, they give out freebies and, and Artemis does have some freebies that you can print out on her um, I don't know if it's on her website or her, or her Etsy um, so you know you, you, the, she's very generous so in here we've got uh, an envelope and I've got a pretty lady in there you can journal on you can put your whatever you want your keepsakes in there and then you put that on the top like so and that just slides in there like that and then on this one we've got the envelope on it's got a little stamp a little tiny paper clip and then um, it does open and there is some little journaling cards inside there I've squeezed quite a lot into this little little envelope album and then I've only glued it on three sides so then there's a tuck spot for these little uh, journaling cards as well and then they slide back in there I'll do that later and then in the top here we've got uh, three a trifold they call it I'm still quite new so I'm learning all the names that's a trifold tag that I've created I've put rivets in um, and that slides in there and the bulldog clip the little clips here just help you pull things in and out rather than having loads of laces and trims I didn't want it too too lacy this one so then on this side we've got the, just left the lovely paper and we've got a little tiny cut, uh, tuck spot here which is just literally a rectangle made from a scrap of paper on my desk um, little bits of ribbon that uh, lace again scraps on my desk little flower uh, a little ticket and a tag and then in the top here I made a large tag and I had a go at collaging that seems to be what everybody's doing at the moment collaging and um, so I had a go so we've just used what I've got which is the book pages music page uh, paper and scraps from my uh, digital images and I've done some stamping and on the back here um, I did some more collaging just straight onto um, the thing with no backing I prefer this one with the foot where the 
full things backed first. This one's got some of the craft card shine and I'm not as keen on that one but you know I were, I were playing more stamping, different colouring, it's just having a play um, and that goes in there like so and then this page I love this little tag that I've created so it's a little tag and I like it because it moves about um, it's just stamped on some very vanilla cardstock and cut out and inked and then I've attached it to some scrap craft card um, which I have glued on two sides to create a tuck spot and in there we've got a little book it says journey and inside is some coffee dyed papers and it is just secured in the centre with some um, baker's twine so I like that, I think that's really cute and then in the top here we've got a um, I've got folded over just a little money wallet with a journaling card in okay so there's quite a lot pushed into this little baby. Um, now, I did use a speciality tape um, on the other side. I'll just show you. Oh, that's come undone. That's come undone. I'll fix it in a minute. Um, I'm just going to explain that between here and here. So that, you know, with opening and shutting it, because they're only envelopes, so that it didn't rip, I did use a speciality tape. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's actually this, and it just gives a bit of extra strength, and it's actually, it's like brown paper. So it, it will rip, but it's like paper, um, and but it's, it's gummed on one side. Artists use it to tape down their pictures, apparently. So, I mean, it's not as strong as duct tape, but it is paper, so you can still ink it. Um, I did see some that had like a shiny surface, almost like duct tape, which would have been good. But I was thinking, well, I won't be able to ink it or stamp on it, whereas this is fully paper. Don't ask me what it's called, because I can't remember. But, <laughs> but it is just like brown paper tape. It's awesome stuff. So there we go. Um, thank you to Carol for the idea and the tutorials. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing that. Thanks to um, everybody that does the lovely journal videos. Um, I've been watching a few lately. Don't know how these ladies make these journals so uh, <laughs> one after another because I feel like I've been run over and exhausted. So I'm going to have a few days off and then I'm going to start my next one. So I hope you like that. I hope it uh, gives you some inspiration for other things. I love how this is so layered and touchy-feely. I love it. Right, so that is my envelope journal complete. She's quite a chunky monkey, but you know, you can stand it up like so. Or I do have some um, beautiful taffeta wide ribbon. I might wrap a big wide ribbon around and tie it in a beautiful bow. We shall see. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I will show you when I do my next one. Bye for now.